the ring at 13 years old, the chemistry was instant. And now he's one of the top young boxers in the world. But what makes him our person of the week this week is the shining example he is to other young people that if you work hard and stay focused, dreams can come true. He was a defensive and offensive lineman at Wyandotte Roosevelt High School. Loved playing video games, a typical teenager, until his true calling hit him. <laughs> My dad was like, you want to come to boxing? I was like, I was kind of iffy about it because I didn't, I didn't really like fighting. <laughs> he was a gamer and he was content to sit home after football practice and oh, I want to play games, I want to play games. I said, well, just come to the gym. No. <laughs> he told me that. Oh, he'll give me uh, the new Call of Duty that was coming out. I'll go stand in line and wait for that game if you come to the gym one time and try it out. <laughs> I introduced him to Pilo, and from there, those two just, they hit it off. And the rest is history in the making, really. At 17 years old, Alejandro Wagner has already won a ringside world championship, a silver medal in the Junior Olympics, a bronze for the national championship, and is ranked sixth in the world for his 152 pound weight class. Me, I'm just keep it in my head, I gotta win this. I gotta put everything I have out on the line. No matter win, lose, or draw, I gotta put it all out there. He also puts it all in there. Alejandro trains seven days a week for hours at a time here at Dinamita Boxing Club in Southwest Detroit dodging the influences of peers with the help of a strong family support system in his corner. My dad, he's right there with me. He's always, always telling me, son, think before you do. And I'm like, yes, sir, always. Doing a good job, he listen, yeah, a good kid. Works hard. Oh yeah, work hard every day. When asked, Alejandro calls himself a brawler with a style similar to his idol, Cesar Chavez, that at times appears to be looking over his shoulder all while Alejandro keeps his eye on the prize. I want to make the USA boxing team so bad for the Olympics. Man, that would be the dream, especially if I win. That would be one of the biggest accomplishments in my life. Do you have a signature move that you know it is over once you deliver it? Left hook. Mm. That's my favorite shot to throw. And he even showed me how it's done. You're going to turn your body a little bit like this and then bring your hand up kind of like in an angle. You just so you can hit the body so. Mm. And in one out of breath statement showed us why this dedicated young champ in the making is our person of the week. Yeah. Thank my coaches, thank my family, thank all my supporters and thank God. Always gotta thank God. Every time I get in the ring, I get on my knees and pray before I fight. He's so quiet and polite. It is truly amazing to see his fists do the talking when he steps in that ring. In addition to his father, Alejandro credits his mom, brothers, and sister for keeping him in line with diet and training and just being a support system. His next fight is at Burt's Warehouse in Eastern Market, March 31st. But after that, the real work begins toward his dream, Olympic training and tryouts and a trip overseas. Back to you.